Justin Avera of the Coalition for Democratic Change, the illustrious First Lady, the Ambassador Club, Mario Deputy Villa, the Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs, the Chairman of the CDC campaign team for Lopa County, Honorable Jackson Kogu and his team, the Superintendent of Lopa, the Honorable Moses Wakali, Senatorial Candidate, our National Campaign Manager, ladies and gentlemen. Program marking the visitation of His Excellency to Zozo Lofa County. I will now invite Pastor David Zhao of the Christian Interdenominational Assembly for Creda for our opening prayer. All right, so there you have it, Dr. David Zhao. Pastor Zhao to the Pastor Zau. Because podcast. the Vice President has just uh, walked by our camera. So we'll take a seat now, sit by His Excellency. And uh, Rabbi Hall is the Internal Affairs Minister, Minister Vani is the uh, Lofa County uh, Superintendent William Tamakama. To know that today is a joyous day. Let's go for prayers received, now. Let's see. Of the Republic of Liberia, George Manawia, who is here with us. I feel the people that saw us should be more celebrated than this. Senator George Manan, we are President of the Republic of Liberia. Our Excellency, Vice President of the Republic of Liberia, Madam Joe Howard Taylor. Our Excellency, the first lady of Liberia, and all well wishers, for on behalf of the Council of Churches, Zaza District Chapter, I want to take this time spiritually to welcome all of you in the city of Zozo. It is our privilege to welcome you in the spiritual movement, to welcome you in having seven as a spiritual leader, I welcome all of you. The Book of Sin, in the Book of Sin, chapter, division 20 say, may the Lord answer you when you call on him. May the God of Jacob protect you. May he send help from this temple and give you and give you aid from Zion. May he accept all of your offering and be pleased with all of your sacrifices. May he give you what you desire. May he give you what you desire. Give victory, oh Lord to the King. Give victory to the King. We are more privileged today to tell the President that God stood by you from 2017 and still giving you up to this time. We give you the victory in the name of Jesus. It is not by ourselves, but God who stood by you from the rock and roll. And you went all about through and went through the smooth pace and attend to the higher offering. I see God stay alive and He's still hearing your prayer. And I see God will still answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. But with this time, I would like to ask all the clergy in the hall with me to stand as we ask the congregation to stand or the audience to stand as we invite the presence of God to take full preeminence over this meeting. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you at this moment for. The visitation of our president, the one and only president you have given to us as a nation, whom is sharing a fan of this nation, who have come to see his people. Father, we say thank you for Seth Arava of the president in Sosa. We say thank you for his interact. The Lord, he has watched over their life and they have come in the city of Sosa. We pray at this time, we enter in the spiritual realm and speak as a servant of the Most High God. I pray God, every desire that the president has intended for this nation, my Lord, my God, I pray God that you stood by him, that his dream of fulfillment in the name of Jesus. We pray against every obstacle. We come against every power in the place of the enemy. Whatever the enemy has done against his campaign, we uproot it by fire in the name of Jesus. We pray God that the anointing from heaven will pull down upon him the Lord as he favor Esther in the day of her time that you will favor him in the eyes of the Liberian people in the name of Jesus 
Father, we thank you. We now invite your presence to be for him now. Oh, this meeting. Take your glory and take your honor. For in Jesus, mighty name we pray. God bless you. I was that opening prayer being done there. We now pray in our man of when you would MC as we continue this yeah, event here Pastor in Sasa, Alpha County. The CDC, headed by President George Weah, now continues campaign activities in Lofa County. Welcoming ceremony and remarks by the landlord and the traditional people of Zozo to be led by Fred G. Howard, the clan chief of Blue Man Clan. Fred G. Howard, the clan chief of Blue Man Clan, and the traditional people of Zozo. Now Fred Howard will represent the uh, traditional elders of Zozo district here in Lofa County as he gears up to come forth and uh, perform the uh, traditional welcoming welcoming President George we are to Lofa County to Zozo precisely they're all dressed up in their traditional attires coming forth to uh, Officially welcome His Excellency. Traditional welcome. A white chicken is out. A white chicken will be presented to His Excellency. Most time implying purity. Traditionally, as a way of uh, welcoming the Liberian leader. And the uh, traditional women dressed in white. Speaking on behalf of the chiefs and elders, <laughs> speaking on behalf of the chiefs and elders, so not just to look for country Liberia, I'm a friend for my good Howard. Can I share a brief with you? The Excellency, Honorable Joy Kukuba for the front man of Weir. You and your high power delegation of Inter Russia. We are very delighted and pleased to see you along with those people. We say thank you for the money development you continue to do for us in Russia. There's not a surprise. I was proud of getting upon this at the time you were considered as Goodway Ambassador for the Bureau. They end up being done. 2017, Nova did that for you in. But you never talk against Nova. We saw it for ourselves. We got numerous of Rufian in the CDC government. That is a clear manifestation. That you are good up for Nova. It is not a plan. But we say, tell you point blank, for the next election, Nova will get you over the 9.9%. After that, Nova! We have nothing to offer. This is an error. This is a white chicken. Where is the color? The elders, the traditional elders here, reaffirming their support. President goes where? So the Internal Affairs Minister, Minister Van and Sir Lee, will join the traditional elders as they perform the traditional welcome. Ah, 
So, uh, my elders, both men and women, are saying you are welcome and you interact. And this is the thing I'm about here to talk about. So, thank you for coming. So, you are in reach with my daughter. Right. Come on, God. Come on, we are on the market. We are on the market. Thank you. This is the start of our history. That our children going to school and they are not paying for anything. What's it? 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 Say it is you today that they can see a quarter from the Nefa Road. They pray that you will continue to pay the road from the Nefa Road. The Nefa Road. I am going to let you see. So thank you to you to the daughter to help with competition. Thank you very much for the spring that we are enjoying this all the ya <laughs> You can be our president in Jesus' name. So, in the packet, you're gonna talk about it. Oh, well, we have a lot of people who are going to be happy to see you. Who's never got a holiday? You're happy to see you. Who's never got a holiday? You're happy. The boy has a number. They don't sit together. You can see the human being that comes to work on you. So, uh, you are welcome. So, Mr. President, we will now uh, take receipt of the uh, items being presented to him by the traditional leaders. They brought for him a white chicken white chicken we which he has already touched as a way as a symbol of acceptance the next thing they also have a shit that they will present as a gift the way the man is white this is how our is Take a of cola nuts. Receiving cola nuts. Uh, we have brought a sheep to you as uh, a for you. Uh, thank you. All right, that's it. A traditional welcome. I wishing President Weir a safe campaign tour across Lofa County from the uh, traditional 
leaders of Azaza district. He comes, he comes forth to. Uh, All right, that's it. The traditional leaders of the district are welcoming President George Weah. He has accepted gifts from them. He has gotten himself a sheep, according to them. It's a way of welcoming him. They're also wishing President Weah safe travels across Lufa County as he campaigns. For our former welcome statement and presentation of the key to the city, Honorable Gamen Willy, City Mayor of Zozo City. Gamen Willy is the mayor of the city of Zozo. She will uh, present the keys of the city to President Weir. She walks to the podium and uh, she has a wooden key in her hand as a symbol of uh, entry to uh, Zozo. Josh, Mano, Opal, and the president, our son, our hero, we want to say thank you for coming. You are welcome to Sosa City in Rufa Josh, Mano, Opal, we are the human being here reached to 1,000, 2,000. And we got 180. The will go for all the banner for you in Jesus' name. Thank you for what all you have done for us. So, all Lopa County people, my sister and brother, I'm above to get a key to our president, our son, our uncle. And thank you for bringing our mother. Mother, you come here, we say thank you. In Sosa here, Lofa County here, I'm the mayor, I'm your mother. And when my knee is coming, me. So, honorable, my president, Papa. She presents the keys to the city of uh, Sosa City. He takes hold of them, lifts them up. He's in control now of the city. Why you should bear with all the one girl meeting with you Please, the Vice President and the President, we want to get a meeting with you. Please, thank you. Thank you. All right. Mayor, Welcome, President. We are to the city. The Mayor hands in the keys. Calling on behalf of the first time voters of Zozo District. First time voters, oh yeah! The first time voters. Someone on social media will say they are the most hyped group, but of course they are the young people, and I believe in these elections the young people have the highest voices. Our honorable want to thank you for coming. Honorable Josh, we are along with the prior president. You are highly welcome. We the first time voters. We assure you that we will vote for you. I mean, thank you for everything you're doing for the faculty. My hair about the road, the road, all the faces. 
thank you for the room, for paying our wash. I said, every house who is in that room. So until me, a belief power, who will pay my wash and why I feel. We want for you to be power. Honorable, please wait for us. We thank you. Please. The people of Grofa are ready to vote you. We will vote you. We will do everything for you. You are our father. Thank you. Okay, she was speaking on behalf of the first time voters. She's concerned. What's She's just in eighth grade. Yeah, time somebody? from now, she will be in ninth grade. And if President Thank Weah doesn't much, win, she has a fear that she might not have a was and why fees being paid. So she's uh, making a commitment on behalf of the first time voters to vote President Weah. Jesse Kubui is the uh, campaign manager here. Mr. President, we are gratified to have you on this today. We say we are welcome in Zosa. You and your interact. Let me seize this occasion to thank and appreciate all of our frontline fighters that have been in the towns, the villages, the trenches, working and spreading the message. The president. I think this is the evidence that these messages are resonating with the people of Nova County. Let me appreciate Sebe Sumo, who has a party in Zaza District. Let me appreciate our Iron Lady, Madam Cotton Kennedy. She has the auxiliary work of Zaza District. Let me appreciate our student midwives, our student nurses, our for okay, KU, our first time voters, the sons and daughters of Kani, Benedict Kolba, Pepsi Yeke, Aaron Colley, and the rest. We have been engaged in this county for the past two years spreading a message, fighting the ill messages against the government, making sure that the positives that the president is doing for this country are related to the people of Lofa County. So let me say thank you for thank you to all of you. Thank you very much. Mr. President, let me also appreciate the local administration. Um, they have welcomed us in this county and they have been working along with us to ensure that your one round, first round victory is secure. And I do promise you, Mr. President, that the county has that key, that golden key that will unlock that first round victory. So, we promise you that we'll continue to work harder and harder and harder even when you conclude your campaign tour in Nova County. We will stay here. We will continue to work until 10. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. The campaign manager and chairperson Thank here you. in this Thank district. Thank you very much, yes. Nabo. Go away now with the municipal interlude to be done by Talking Tom for President Weah's re-election. Talking Tom. Okay. Mr. Corey Interlude on how he's calling himself Talking Tom for the re-election of President George Weah. What be respect of my excellency George Mane and the group of for the matter of Weah say yeah! yeah. A group of young musicians you know, we said calling like themselves uh, talking to them for and the re-election of President Weah. So they're about to do a performance here. And may love to be a better land. A special thanks to Honorable Jesse B. Crowell, Honorable Thomas B. Fala, Honorable Benedict Kolubai, Honorable Moses Wakali for supporting us 
Well, we are to tell you that love out love be the same. Thank you. Yes. Good idea. Love out will never be the same. Let it we see and do it, my people. If we can get we had a chance, so there will be no more suffering, my people. We need to be very mindful because we discuss in our country. If we are going to be given chance, so ten see gurus in a dress, too. Meliani told my look is in the press, and he bought it. Men and the men and mother, we were be very well to ever. We are quite a safe of a lot. TJ, TJ. Just my name.
I'll say, uh, mystical interlude. Thank you very much. The talking tone put their hands together for talking Brief performance there. Uh, brief performance there. Uh, president, we are with the song. The fire will never be the same. same. You heard it I from them. I very well believe that. At this time, it's our civic photo education, and I invite Honorable Len Eugene Namwe, the national campaign manager of the Coalition for Democratic Change on his team. Can they put their hands together for Honorable Len Eugene he has been providing uh, okay. civic voters education Sorry across the uh, now, country as President Weir continues his campaign. I want to introduce a very special Israel. person to Lofa, the Honorable Chief Moses Yabazu Kali, Senator Candidate, Coalition for Democratic Change. So there you have it, Yabazu Kali is the CDC Senator Candidate here in Lofa County. Walks to the podium to uh, speak to the people of Zozo district here. Yo, yo, Zozo, yo, yo. Lofa Kande, yo, yo. Mr. President, you see the warning? Lofa will never remain the same. So the people of Lofa, they are prepared to change the narrative. Your Excellency, that the George Mane we are Madam First Lady, Madam Vice President, officials of government here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Mr. President, I I just want to let you know that I shall speak louder than words. You are seeing for yourself. 2017 when we came here. You know the narrative. But I want to express something very, very important. During the by election in Lofa County, some people of Lofa County decided to use our tradition to honor my, the democracy of this country. But Mr. President, to tell you that the Lofa people are prepared re elect you because you are the father of the soul, you are their son. Today, the high priest of the land is in town as we're entering, and they are all at the place there. This clearly shows that indeed the traditional people they are happy, they are prepared to receive you. So, I want to say thank you to the traditional people. We are happy you are demonstrated to. The land owner that you did, you love him. To the people of Zaza District, are you prepared to re elect the excellent Dana George Mane we are? No, I didn't hear you good. Are you prepared to re elect the excellency and to also vote for development in Lupa County? Aluta, Mr. President. Thank you, Aluta. Aluta, Mr. President. Mr. President. Aluta. Mr. President. Now what um justice said. You got people are working at you. They are not only sitting in the bureau offices. All of the sons and daughters of this place. So, so, your own Jesse, Jesse, the Aaron Colley, the Benedict Colbert, these are people that are working so hard to portray the working of the CDC. We want to say thank you to this team. We want to assure you, Mr. President, this land, Lofa County, or Ottawa Ten. When you are sitting in Morovia, you will get a reserve on the wall room. We want to assure you that those things that happened in 2017 will never be repeated. Will never be repeated. We have worked over the years, for two years we will be working. Election is not an event, it's a process. We have worked for two years. So what all we are doing now is just a climax our own victory.
Mr. President, I want to rest assure you, on behalf of the people of Zosa District and Lofa County, that we are prepared to stand by you. Before I take my seat, before I take my seat, Mr. President, the young people, the young lady that spoke here, the youth, they so believe in you. We want to take our behalf. We have a youth center in Zosa here and in Saleh. That's the message that I give me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now our civic voter education led by campaign manager Len Eugene Namwe. Thank you, thank you. The people of Zaza District Hallo. Zaza Elders. Oh yeah. The women, oh yeah. The elder, yeah, yeah. yeah. The youth, yeah, yeah. yeah. First and foremost, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. President, Madam First Lady, Madam Vice President, the other people I have to do. Firstly, before I talk about a small report, I will call all the first time voters. The lady who spoke, Josephine. Josephine. Sorry, good day, happy for you already. Why are you worried about the wise piece? You got so many weapons. This is a, a tablet. You can, you can accept SIM card and you can get on the internet. And we'll help you with your studies to explore the world. This is a gift to you from the first lady of the Republic of Liberia, Madam Clara Marie Deventy Weir. It's for you. More will come, and not just for you, but for all the first time voters, a lot of things will come for you. <laughs> so, Zaza Adesho, oh yeah! Zaza Sete, oh yeah! And some people here, come here, come here, oh yeah! Thank you. So, if the last election in 2017, the CDC did not win Zaza, but we got some votes. And because of the votes we got, the president said thank you to you. Because if somebody you asked somebody for 100 and he gave you one, and you said thank you, so thank you for the vote that you gave in 2017. And even with that, we have some ballots that were small. Say you came here today. You came here for what? To vote for the president, right? Yeah. So you stood there seven this morning to vote for him. Yeah, well, you, him you, you, you the second mandate you, you for him to finish the work he started, right? Yeah, you. And you want to see the quota passing yeah, by? Yeah. 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 They're coming. Don't yeah. worry. They're yeah. coming across. Of the president because we we're listening to radio the other day, yeah. And he said, Somebody said, They don't want to blueprint. To be fair, my first time here in Maganda Apple Highway and Banga Menikoma Highway, that was 43 years ago. So the blueprint was for 43 years. Why the blueprint did not turn into Kota Road? Because there was no political will and no love for the people. So the, the role started when the president became president. And he has won funding for the rest of the phases, phase two, meaning from Salaye to Konya, and from Konya to Fondima, from Fondima all the way to Manikoma. They made the money sitting out there for the work. So as the people working, he just stopped to the first phase. But the road passed by Zosa. And pass by Konya, reach of Fondima, it will reach all the way to Medicoma. We have found it secure for that. That is the love he has for Lufa. And that's just one of the many things that's going to happen. So we want the votes to be done properly. We want one for the spot. When you go in a booth, you know what? October 1st, that the president brought in. Also, my department, he can give them.
Come on, me, don't get nothing. You are keeping for October 10th. And the gift that you're going to give me is your one vote. It is very important. We don't want that vote to spoil. So, I'm the picture here. Don't turn it around. AFC on the ballot. There are 20 persons on it. But the two most important for you are the president and the vice president. When you get in the booth, the media want you to look at. Yes, come from 1 to 18. But the media must look at the president's face and the vice president's face. When you enter, you see the CDC bash. And you see the bash? You see all the your face begin. Yeah, that is how we look. Exactly like this, how we be in the battle. After the bash, you see the president. What can I call you guys? Blue costume, right? The same blue costume. It will be there. We wear. And you see the netta? Shades. The shades all will be there. What is behind the shades? Ah. If I call the president PR, then the trouble come in. But I, for, for the sake of voting right, you are seven today. So the president PR for me will be showing. You can't miss it. After the president, you see the vice president. And you see your skin? A little chocolate milk. You know what I'm saying? It's awesome. 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 It's So, your own daughter will be on the ballot. In her blue suit. I'm describing this because I don't want you to make a mistake. And your pen go pop out there and go to a different person. No. Then all the work that you've been doing going in vain. If you don't vote right. So, after the VP, the empty bars will be there. In the empty bars, I want you to put a check mark. But if you tell them, I say, you can't read them, right? Then they can get you out there, no problem. Put your finger in the ink and put it right in the center. Because you say you're doing right. But when you feel it for you, don't tell the pen to bust on my album. Don't do it when you bust the album and then you bust your own album because you put it on that kind of Don't cancel the other man's face. Don't put ink on the other man's face. The best way to support the president for him to continue the good work is to vote right. right. Is to vote right. So, all the what the president be doing, y'all be sitting in the room, right? Let's give you one shot. One shot for the president. Yeah. Two shots for the president. Yeah. Three shots for the president. Yeah. All the money, all the money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Len Eugene Nambe is the lead campaigner of the CDC. Providing our civic voters education. The other day I told some out the English group. So I brought my Loma interpreter. Hmm. I don't know what I got easy. Okay. I do it now. Zepe Kaure Rapuzu. Eh, what's the guy we the <laughs>
Providing civic voters education in, in the uh, Loma vernacular here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll return to uh, Thank you very much. Thank our you. MC Emmanuel Wenyu. Now, it's my humble duty and honor as president. The Vice President, Vice President of, of the Republic of Liberia, of Liberia Chief Dr. Joel Howard Taylor. Joel Howard Taylor, who will introduce the President. Yes. The Ministers, please have your seat. His Excellency President George Manning, we are our First Lady. Our incoming Senator, Honorable Moses Wakwani. Cabinet members that are here, members of the President's entourage, our chiefs, our elders, our women, our souls. I'm happy to be here today. Excellency, I started a small story in Saturday, and we ended here. I will make it short. I was the last baby born here in Zorza at the current Memorial Hospital. And my father named me CNA, which means a good and successful trip. But the reason I'm talking about Moses Wahawa today is because I was one year old when Lofa County was declared a county. And the dreams that he had for his children, they could not be realized here. There was no road, there was only one hospital, there were barely any schools. And so he left Sosa, went to Bond County, and then went to Monrovia, where he felt there were more opportunities. The dreams of our parents, of our mothers, of our young people, of my father, are the dreams that you are working on today. Can we clap for the president, please? Because today, you no longer have to leave way from Yeda to go to Monrovia to send your children to school. There are schools being built all over the country. There are road networks being built all over the country. There are new hospitals being built all over the country. And so we want to thank you, Your Excellency, for taking on the mantle of this authority of the nation and ensuring that your government reaches to the people wherever they are. Can we clap for the president again? No faculty, oh yeah! And so I am honored this afternoon to be able to call on stage His Excellency, President George Manawia, the promise keeper. When you say something, he does it. The passionate leader of our country is passionate about development.
President of the Republic of Liberia, Madam Vice President Dr. Joy Howard Tiller, and today the members of the Cabinet, Honorable Official here present, our traditional leaders, elders, marketers, our mother, visiting guests, all of political party supporters are here in welcome. I hope I can persuade you to be waiting for me. First time voters, the we are shams, the seditions, and the coalition, members of the folk estate, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, listening to the previous speaker, the people of Zozo, I want to say, oh yeah! Zozo, oh yeah! Thank you. We went to election 2017, the announced the election. And he said that no faculty did not vote for me. We won 14 counties and no faculty did not vote for me. And I asked the question, why? But no one could answer that question. And I said to them, yes, no faculty voted for me. Because I look at this, the record of no faculty, no faculty voted for me. And that's why you can see in our government there are sons and daughters of Nova County. Nova County, for me, it doesn't matter the percentage you gave me. The whole idea of voting for me, whether it's 10% or 25% or 50%, I am still your son. And this is why you see. Today, the unprecedented development around your corridor. Nova County, I want you to know when you look around me, you see your children around me. You can see the Jesse, you can see the Finabono, you just need them. For me, I am the resident leader I love tribalism. I am a Liberian, I believe that we are all Liberians. I said to you in 2017, and let me restate what I said to you in 2017. I said, elect me so I can connect our country to our neighboring countries. And that's why you see him today. I said, let me so children can have free education. That's what you see today. I said, let me so children can have free wise feet. I said to you, let me so we can pay more hospitals. I said, let me so we can continue the peace of our country. I said, let me so the young generation can work in government so they can know what government is. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, everything that I said to you in 2017, if you look around you, is what I'm doing. I promise you good roads, good hospital, free education, you can see today. Today I'm here again. I'm here again as a friend, as a father of the nation, as a brother, most of you are the beginning, I hear again. As a father of the nation, what I'm saying to you, I also a GC ball. I also a GC ball because most of my friends are GC, so I don't learn GC. But what I'm trying to tell you here, what I'm a GC or crew, we are all appearance. It's not because I'm a crew man, so we cannot face local country. That's not possible. There's our country, 
every county important to us. And that's why we hear to you, I say to you, give me a second term so I can continue what I'm doing so I can finish my work. Remember, I keep to you, I keep to you, they say I was nobody. I'm from the street, I'm a footballer, I know nothing. But guess what? You stay, say to them, we will try him. You have tried me. And I perform well. Liberia is 176 years old. In 171 years, everything that they put into this country, in the five years that I govern, that you make me president, I have more hospital than any president in the history of this country. I have more roads than any president in the history of this country. I gave you free education in the life of this country and never happened before. So you can see those people that call themselves rescue. They are not rescue. They are arresting team. Resting. They are arresting team. They are tired. They're resting. They don't rescue team. We are your rescue. We are the rescue team. When we came to this country, the economy was bad. We fixed it. So we are rescue team. Those people are resting team. We give you free education. How can a resting team say they rescue you when during their time they did not give you free education? Yes. I gave you free education because in my time I was living the ghetto in Gibraltar. I would not pay school fees. What happened to me? A lot of young children here, yeah, the parents go to the market every day. They cannot afford even hundred dollars or two hundred dollars to pay their children's school fees. So I believe that free education for you is the best thing to do. They say we don't have experience, but I gave you free education so you can build yourself. So tomorrow nobody can judge you. It's not to bluff. I'm not here to bluff. But there's nobody in the race today. That will do better than George Madden back with well for the club. I want you to know, and I'm asking you again, uh, uh, people of Lofa County, Zozo, they say you did not vote for me, but I asked you the other day to vote for Honorable Jada. You responded positively. Yes. I want to thank you for that. Today I come to you to help me to elect Moses Kony. It's important because we have to go to governor in the second years. We need senators and we need legislators. That will help us. So our policy and what we want to do so we can achieve it. If we put every opposition in the parliament, the lot of things we want to do for you, they will not help for to be successful. Because you know that they are opposition to us. When they're with us, they will not want to succeed. You know, we will succeed and not good for them. Yes. But when all of us in the house will succeed together for you. So let us vote our senators and our reps. My friends and family, my brother, I want to tell you you see, to my brother, today, Joshua is the president because you made Joshua president. So, any of you here, women or men, one of you can be president of this country one day. So nobody will judge you. And that's why we prepare you. 
I say to you, people that have been in government for 50 years, in their life they have not achieved anything. I saw some of them, they are your, they are your uncles, they are your father. But you see, sometimes it's not your father or your brother can make you successful. Yes. Sure. Your friend also can make you successful. Yes. I was born by a rich father and I was trained to the ghetto of Gibraltar. My father did not make me successful. My grandmother, poor grandmother, made me successful. So it's not about just my family. I want to tell you, yes, you may think that I am not from here, but I am your brother, I am your father, and I am your son. I, I could have said, you know what, Lofa County did not vote for me, yes, we can see the record. Why should I get a road to Lofa County? That's not my business. Why should I promote a son of Lofa County to be in my government? That's not my business. But you can see that we are all Liberians. Mm -hmm. What we're doing here is for you, it's not for us. So, I trust you, and I want to thank you for the covenant reposing me to work for you. I will say to you, Lofa Kande, I started this road, coming passing through here. And I was in Kaka the other day to discuss the second phase of the road. The best thing you can do for us is to give us a second time so we can finish our work. So, you did not vote for me, but I owe you this role. Because according to history, they say Lopa Kande is the breadwinner of our country, right? Is that what they say? Eh? When you get a role, you can vote, you can leave the farm. When you not get road, you can take the, the cross from the farm. So, no one here can rescue you. A few years ago, 12 years. So the best thing you will do, and the honest thing is to give up the same 12 years. Mm -hmm. So you can look at your 12 years and look at our 12 years. Yes. People call themselves rescue team. The executive mansion. It's the face of this country. 16 years ago, it got burned. It came to power in 12 years. The mansion was left alone. Today, if you go to Morovia, in the capital city, you see that the executive mansion is restored. It's the same place they're telling you, if you go over there, we face it, but the men face it, they're all kind of there. So you can see, they tell you that when they come back, the agricultural sector will boom. But 50 years ago, there were LPNC, the agriculture minister, they did not plan rest in this local country. And the same thing that bring up back will boom the agricultural sector. Let us not, let us not uh, uh, bring the country back. We are on the way for prosperity. We are past the stage. We have 85 percent to develop our country. And I want you to be trusted. I'm trusting October 10th with you. Because I'm not carrying you to the polls. I'm going to encourage you to go there. But I know that you will vote for me this time. You're going to vote for me because of my record. I've developed this country. And I know based on the tangibles, you will vote for me. I want to thank you for coming. I was told when I come to Zozo, nobody will be outside here. But you see, in my life, I love challenge. Because I was a struggle. I was a struggle, so I love challenge. When I'm in the middle of six passing in the defense, and I found my way through. And that's why I'm here today. They said nobody will be here. But you see, I know that Liberian people love me. Anywhere I go, even if I'm not working, anywhere I go, you see people behind me. It's a gift from God, 
and I thank God for his many blessings. I want to let you know that uh, his shoe gave us a second chance so we can do your work. And to all our friends and citizens and family, thank you for being out here. I want to say to you, Amanda! 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 The people of Zaza, they say you don't vote for me 2017. I know the time you will vote for me. Say, yeah. oh. they see people that told you say their car was parked today, no muffler, no tire. Say, yeah. oh. even though they say you don't, you don't vote for me, but we defeated them in 2017. Say, yeah. Oh, if you see people with flood, with flood, they say, yeah. oh, I know when I leave for this, all of will put their vote together for the tent, say, yeah. oh, the people of Zaza, you do me for your road to be finished, say, yeah. oh, the people resting in the corner, they say, rescue team, say, yeah. oh, The people that will rescue you, the ones that they can rescue you, say, Amanda! 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 Only the government can rescue you. God bless you. President George Weah. Only this government can rescue you. Talking to the left.